How's it going? Sean here back again with another video. And today I want to just show a spreadsheet that I created for my college football season um, in Google Sheet. So I have a couple of friends and what we do every year is that we do like a college football pick them, but we don't like to use the apps because we like to pick our own teams, right? So we just pick an assortment of like SEC and then we just have somebody new come in who does uh, ACC teams. So we like to pick our own teams and then sometimes we pick smaller schools too that we went to. Um, but uh, the spreadsheet has evolved over like four or five years of just me putting a team on there. So I've been trying to automate it as much as possible. So this is like version three or four, and I want to show you guys exactly what I'm doing right now with this. And just keep in mind, this will change, and this will continue to be automated. I want to explore APIs next, but let's just show you what I'm doing. All right, so now we're on my screen, and as you can see here, we have the 2024-2025 uh, football season up here. We don't have all the teams populated as right now because we take turns each week populating it. But what I want to do is automate it as much as possible. We pick 10 games a week. As you can see, we have all the weeks of the football. Sorry, I went too far down with all the weeks of the college football season. Um, and we have a drop down of the away team, home team. We have my picks. We have Demetrius picks. We have Drake picks. And then we put the winner. Um, so before like around my first year if we go to i think 2021 2022 you will see no automations in here right i mean it's simple automations but i just went in and picked the team picked the team so i had to go in and pick the winner right so when i went in and picked the winner then i had to look back at to see who won and then add the points in here um and i think i had some sums in here so that's really easy of adding sums in in this sheet so as you can see that that was all the automation i did is add the sum and this took a little time and we have a lot of things going on i have to look for the winners and then i have to see who picked who and then put the points in there and then at the end as you can see if we go all the way down to the bottom you can see what we have in here we had the bowl games and then the college football championships points and then we had the grand total here as well um we will go into the 2020 22 23 season I think I made it a little bit different. We didn't have the automation in there still. We only had the sums in there, um, nothing there. But I did add uh, like a week one to help uh, keep it clean of who's winning, who's winning and who's losing. And then what I did also is, and I think I'm gonna bring this back in my 2024 sheet, is this chart. So it's basically it's a chart. Score, so it's called a scorecard chart. You set it up here and then you just pick the, the the ranges that you have so as this one have case 2 to k17 so it's basically just pulling all of the points here from k2 to 17 just to keep a running score of what's going on so we can kind of see it live and it updates once you put in a, a, a value right so that was something that i did and last year is when i upped the ante i was like what can i do to automate this spreadsheet a little better so what i did is i have drop down list of all of the college football team so basically um, one FBS teams as you can see here the one I did last year also had the conferences conference in there as well and um, once you pick so it made it easier instead of just typing in the name and you have to make sure you spell it right it's all here right so I was able to um, add them all in here and basically that was just with the data validation tool right so I'll go over that in my next one but as you can see here how all the teams here then when we pick and we pick a winner now we have that in here so it makes it a lot cleaner um, another thing that i did to make it easier was add formulas right i did an if then statement so basically this is my if then statement you will go in you will type in if parentheses and this is my row so this is for sean right so let's scroll over a little bit and as you can see if d2 so that's what i pick if my pick is d2 equals g2 and g2 is the winner so it needs to equal the winner if it equals that, then return a value of one. Because we'll be just keep, keeping points of one, right? So one point for each winner. If it doesn't match, return a point of zero. And as you can see, this is just for um, what happened in the first game. So in the first game, like you see Florida play Utah, and Utah actually won, but I picked Florida. Uh, Demetrius picked for Florida too, right? But Drake picked Utah. So his was equals F2, which is the Drake's row equals G2, then return one. So as you can see, it kind of automates it a little bit too. And all I have to do is go back in and select the winner. So as you can see, I have that again this year for our 2024 list. 
Um, I put out all the teams in there. So if you see the drop downs, you can see all of the teams again. And I think that is the problem now. So I'm facing is that finding this updated list in every year because new teams go in the FBS and some teams come out of the FBS, right? So I'm just trying to figure out how to get the list. So I have to scour the internet and find all the lists. And as you can see, I have that is the one from last year, the list. But as you can see, and if you know a little bit about college football, some of these teams are not in the same conference anymore, like a, uh, let's see what school I can pick, but maybe like a USC or something, right? So as you can see here, if it's on here, USC or University of Southern California or even UCLA, they're not in the Pac-12 anymore. They're in the ACC. So I, I didn't want to confuse the group or the people who are playing. So what I decided to do is just take that off. So I, I took a while to find, <laughs> to be able to find all of the updated list of teams with all of the um, conferences in there because I didn't want to create a script to delete it. So I have all the teams in there again. And what I did is basically you go here, you go to data. So you click on a row, data validation, go down to data validation, and then you just select a value that contains one from the range. So the range that I picked was this range here, or sorry, six, pick that range. We drag it down and then you make it a drop down list. So once you have that drop down list, you have to select one from that list. So that really made it a lot easier for me. Um, it helps out with this sheet. Uh, I think my next step, and I'll probably make a video about it too, will be to maybe pull APIs. I'm trying to figure out a way, well, if anybody knows this way, right, that I can pull the winner from ESPN or any sports app that can just tell me who is the winner of these games or it can read the games that I pick and it can tell me the winner so it can automate it a little bit more and save me a little time that is the next thing I'm doing so if anybody knows that please let me know also if anybody wants this sheet I think I'm gonna make it available um, for a download you can copy it do what you please with it let me know if you're interested in copying this sheet or what improvements you would like to make um, but yeah, but it's some of the things that I like to do and that I do in Google Sheets. So once again, I thank you all for watching the video. You guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe if you like any of this content that I'm putting on my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.